there folks it's will again and today i'd like to present another thought and that thought is uh the valley being in the valley i know there's so many people who have been in the valley this year and sometimes it seems like whenever we get close to the to the holiday season to christmas time sometimes those valleys can get even deeper because you'll remember someone maybe that you lost during the year or uh you know this time of year is also very tight on money and it, you go through the valley and, uh, and I'd like to bring this thought out from 1 Samuel uh, chapter 17, whenever we look at, at David. And he, of course, he was in the valley of Elah. He was about to go against Goliath. Goliath is, is the representation of fear, uh, fear in our lives, fear for financial stability, fear for, you know, different emotions that we might be going through. Uh, you know, maybe we're going through a low period with our spirituality. And, and we see that he was down in the valley. And he was about to go against uh, Goliath. But there is a few things that we can pull out of that valley. Of course, that valley is lonely. It's a lonely place to be. We see that David, he was in the valley by himself. He had nobody else there. He was the only one willing to go against Goliath. And we see that he is down there by himself. But we see that God provides because that brook that he stopped by was loaded. He was able to get five smooth stones out of that brook. But you got to think, he, the Lord prepared those stones for David there in the valley. So even when we're in the valley, when we're going through the difficult times, the Lord always prepares the way for us. Because you got to think, those little five small, uh, smooth stones, they didn't just get there by a happen chance. The Lord had to, had to set those in motion uh, somewhere upstream. They might have been boulders so far up the stream. And eventually they, they rolled and, and were wore down to pebbles. Uh, or smooth stones by the time they got there to where David was going to be that day. And the Lord prepares the way for us through the valley as well. But another thing that we can look at is the Lord didn't leave him in the valley. The Lord was there with him in the valley. And of course, we know that David slew Goliath there in the valley. But David didn't come back empty handed. Uh, he, he went in there with just a sling uh, and the clothes on his back. That's all he had. But he ended up coming out. He had the head of Goliath, which was the head of fear. So whatever fear we go through in our lives, uh, when we come out of the valley, that fear uh, with the Lord on our side can be can be uh, taken down, can be killed. We can come out with the head. But we also see that David, he came out with the sword. Uh, he came out with the sword of Goliath. He came out with weapons. He came out a better uh, and more equipped than what he was before he went into the valley. And we can see how that comes back. Uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 21, where in 1 Samuel in chapter 21, um, uh, we see that David is running from Saul here. And we see that he asked the priest there for a weapon. Um, and, the, and, the, uh, and the priest said in, chapter, in verse 9, it said, And the priest said, The sword of Goliath, the Philistine, whom now slew us in the valley of Eli, behold, uh, it is here, wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. Behind the ephod. So we see here that Sometime down the road, whenever he was going through another difficult time, he was able to use something that he gained from that valley experience that he had against Goliath. David was able to glean from that experience, and he was able to get the sword of Goliath. So David didn't come back empty-handed any hand, empty handed, uh, from the valley. He ended up coming back better than he was, and he was prepared for a future valley that he was going to go through whenever he was uh, uh, running from Saul, of course. So we see that the valley is not necessarily a bad place for a Christian. The valley is a teaching place for a Christian. We can learn many things when we go to the valley. The valley, it is not a fun place to be. In the moment, it is horrible. It is not a good place to be. But whenever you're on the other side of that valley, you can see the lessons that you learned. And you can see the, the, uh, the things that, that, that were developed in your life during those times. So don't fret when you're in the valley. It's just the Lord preparing you for something in the future.